I'm Jens Housley, Senior Product Manager here at April Air. We're here with Harker Heating and Cooling at a home today, and we're putting in a radon mitigation system. We'll be talking through each step as we go through the installation, showing you the basics, as well as showing you the more technical details behind the critical components of an installation. First, we're gonna identify the right location to drill a hole in the slab to start our mitigation installation. Once you've identified the correct location, drill the concrete and start by digging your suction pit underneath the slab. So Zach and his team just finished drilling a five inch hole in the slab. And now what he's doing is he's clearing about two to five gallons of debris from underneath that slab that's gonna create a suction pit. What that suction pit does is it allows the pressure field to extend beyond this local point into other points in the home, creating that active soil depressurization. Once the suction pit is dug out, we'll start setting the PVC pipe in the hole. That PVC pipe is gonna run from the inside to the outside and connect to the fan. Start by installing the PVC pipe into the hole and completing the PVC pipe system on both ends so that you can install your radon mitigation fan. As you can see behind me, they're finishing up the outdoor part of the installation, getting ready to hook it up to the exhaust part of the system above the roof line. Once you've got your PVC installed at the intake and the exhaust, it's time to start hooking up the fan. Start by connecting the couplings to either end of the fan. An optional accessory that we've included on this installation is a transition fitting with a condensate bypass kit. The transition fitting and condensation bypass kit allow water to pass beyond the fan, extending the life of the fan. Once the couplings are connected to the fan, install the fan assembly to the PVC pipe system. Once the fan is connected to the PVC pipe system, it's time to start connecting the power. What that entails is hooking it up to a hard switch that's rated for outdoor use. Once the fan is connected to the power system and turned on, it's time to install the YouTube manometer and alarm. The YouTube manometer is going to give you a reading for static pressure of the fan. The radon system alarm is an audible alarm that notifies the homeowner if their fan or something in the system is not functioning correctly. Once the YouTube manometer and radon system alarm are installed, it's time to start sealing. Seal any cracks and crevices in the basement floor, open holes, or any other places where pressure may leak out of the system. Remember, we're sealing as many areas as we can to ensure that the pressure extends across the entire slab. If the home has a sump pump, ensure that you seal the sump cover. Once you've sealed your system, installation is complete. Once your mitigation installation is complete, it's time to hang an April Air short-term test kit to ensure that your mitigation system is functioning correctly. Let's talk about April Air short-term test kits. As a contractor, you can work with your homeowner to correctly fill out their information, hang the test kit, and ensure the test kit gets placed in the mail three to seven days after it's hung. Radon is the number two cause of lung cancer next to tobacco use. Radon is tasteless, it's colorless, and it's odorless. The only way to ensure your customers' homes have low levels of radon is to test. And remember, low levels of radon means healthy families. There you have it, folks, a complete radon mitigation installation. As you work through these installations, feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-334-6011 or visit aprilairpartners.com to get all the information you need.
Thanks for watching and remember, April air is healthy air.